European markets getting a boost to start the week. For an update on that, as well as individual stocks, we turn to Jonathan Browdy in the deal's London newsroom for more. Jonathan. Good morning. European markets rebounded on Monday, although London rose less strongly than its continental rivals, as news of a series of pharma industry mergers seemed to indicate some renewal of confidence after last week's falls. Swiss pharma company Roche rose 1.53% after agreeing to pay $1.3 billion for up to 56.3% of Cambridge Mass-based cancer specialist Foundation Medicine. But Ireland's Shire PLC fresh from the breakup of its $49 billion deal with Chicago's AbV, slid after agreeing to buy rare disease specialist NPS Pharmaceuticals for $5.2 billion. London's more hesitant performance was driven in part by the oil industry's continued woes, with Brent crude now trading well below $49 a barrel. Mid-cap oil producer Afren dropped about 20% after cutting estimates of the reserves and its ability to extract oil at its Bardo Rash field in Iraqi Kurdistan. Afrin said it would now have to consider its strategic options for Iraq. Meanwhile, oil rig maker Lamprell sank about 13% as it warned that a reduction in capital spending by oil exploration companies would cut its revenues for 2015. In the airline industry, Irish carrier Aer Lingus descended 5.6% after rebuffing an improved $1.53 billion from International Consolidated Airlines Group. But the bidder, IAG, which owns both British Airways and Spain's Iberia, climbed after saying it might not make a further offer. In Asia, Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index closed up at 0.45% as the market responded positively to Friday's news that Asia's richest man, Li Ka Shing, plans to merge and reorganise his Cheung Kong and Hutchison Wampoa companies. That's all from me in London. Over to you in New York, John. Thank you very much, Jonathan. That's Jonathan Browdy reporting from the Deals London Newsroom.